So if you guys missed it, today I bring you a complete breakdown of the season 1 trailer for The First Descendant. It's called The Invasion of Man O' Man it contains some epicness. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ Now, if you do enjoy the video please consider leaving a like and dropping a comment down below it really helps me and the channel out. Also by liking, commenting and subbing to the channel you will automatically enter into my weekly giveaway of an ultimate descendant. More details on that at the end of the video. So earlier today we got a 15 second teaser trailer clip for this new season but about an hour ago guys Nexon dropped the entire trailer which is about 2 minutes long. If you haven't seen it check it out right here before we break it down. So how cool was that guys? Loads to get through too. So let's break it down. So the trailer starts with us seeing a new descendant, a sniper themed descendant called Haley. And you guys know full well Nexon knew exactly what they were doing with the opening of this trailer. Okay so moving on. We then see that new threats are on the horizon where we see these robotic, toxic imbued creatures that really do look quite unique. It then cuts to no doubt some new boss dude with a big old gun being raised on this platform seemingly being empowered by these enemy beacon type things surrounded by the Vulgus War Slaves from the Legion of Darkness, so pretty cool there. We then see Alpha witnessing this new threat taking over, which is a cool thought. This new threat might flood our current regions or bring new ones with them, who knows. It then pans to our descendants going to investigate this new threat, which we then see the awakening forbidden ancient technology. Now that sounds so cool to me. We then get a quick glimpse of what look to be like coloured pads but further on it seems as though each of these pads may have a use which indeed could be beneficial to the player standing on it or it could indeed be a platform you need to deposit a certain something into that you'll probably have to collect from no doubt the new mission types coming into the game which is associated with. We then see a descendant eradicating and cleansing this tower of this utter filth. No doubt somehow linked to the current mission with those coloured platforms or maybe something completely different. We then get a cinematic, a short one, but of that boss we saw earlier, shielded, walking towards those descendants, taking those bullets like a pro. This guy for sure looks tough. We then guys get another glimpse of Hayley, the sniper themed descendant in her tighty whities. Man that sniper railgun type of thing looks utterly nasty. We then see something really really interesting, 
After the text of Brace Yourself for Nightmares, we then see Freyna holding some kind of tablet, then seemingly tearing the heart out of an enemy, which looks to be an almost emotional ordeal for her, and then guys it sort of clips away to another instance where we see her no doubt turning and transforming into Ultimate Freyna. That's what I'm seeing here anyway. At first I thought it was Freyna turning into what could be this new enemy but I'm certain that this has been just spliced together to kind of look that way. This is no doubt Ultimate Freyna that is for sure and she's looking pretty badass. Let's not kid ourselves here. It then cuts to what I believe is a new Void Intercept boss battle where we actually see a few short frames of Ultimate Freyna fighting this new Void Intercept boss. You can tell it's her due to that plat and those poison toxic canisters on her back. The trailer then ends with some off-world view of some demonic force and then back down to earth with Haley. Then invasion arrives on August 29th so not long at all to go guys. So yeah a pretty cool trailer that is for sure. Now what's interesting is the fact we know now that Xbox uh, have a Gamescom live stream which is dropping from the 21st to the 23rd of August so what's basically next week we know that on the 23rd they're going to showcase more of the first descendant so were they to showcase and repeat this trailer we've just witnessed or will they showcase something completely new who knows guys but if I had to guess I'd probably say they're going to showcase a little bit more in regards to Haley and Ultimate Freyna that would be utterly amazing but again, that is on the 23rd of this month. And as always, guys, I will have you covered right here on my channel if anything interesting is, as you know, revealed. Other than this, in regards to news earlier on their website, they pull out this uh, first Senate notice. Uh, this is in regards to their results of a crackdown of abusive users. Greetings, descendants. Here are the results of the crackdown on abusive users carried out between Friday the 9th of August through to what was yesterday, uh, Thursday the 15th of August where they say we're inspecting abusive gaming behavior to ensure that all descendants can enjoy the game in a pleasant environment. If you notice any abnormal or abusive behavior while playing the game, please report it through the in-game reporting feature. Please see below for the detailed outcome of this crackdown. It says crackdown status because it's all on screen now. Creation, distribution and use or use of authorized programs. Permanent game ban. 246 users. Jesus, there are quite a few people here guys. We then see here exploitation of all purposes related to the open store. Permanent game ban. 217 users. Actions were taken because of unfair gains by exploitation and store payment process. So is this what they were talking about in that patch a few patches ago where they basically spoke about punishing players using abnormal behavior to gain uh, an unfair advantage basically? Is this what they were talking about? It may have been. They also say here notes. The outcome of the crackdown on abusive users indicates enforcement actions taken based on descendants reports and monitoring. If you'd like to vindicate yourself in relation to a claim on the exploitation of the open store payment process, please visit their website. I mean, when it comes to people abusing the store, guys, next and ain't gonna mess about. So yeah, stay away from anything in relation to anything like this, guys. It's just really not worth it. But yes, there we have it, people. And before we do end the video, just say thank you for the amazing support I've had. On the first descendant, I am giving away ultimate descendants on a weekly basis or the equivalent in that calibre and unlike some, my giveaways are actually real. So to win it's as simple as this, drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. The more I see you active on my first descendant videos, the more of a chance you have of winning. I'll pick one winner from the comment section of one of my videos across the week and announce them on Sunday evening's video. So good luck. To ya. Also guys join my discord link down below for even more of the first descendant. But there we have it guys for another first descendant video. If you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out. Let me know your thoughts on the trailer and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one.